الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلیٰ وصحبی وسلم بعد سو وٹ ہیپنس اور وٹ شڈ وی ڈو اف یورن ویئر فریڈ دیٹ یورن از اسٹل لیکنگ اور کمنگ آؤٹ فرام اس اکرام کم اللہ آفٹر وی ایو یورینیٹیڈ Should we wear almost like a diaper or, or put some tissue in our under, undergarments to, uh, and then remove the tissue and then make a wudu? Or should we, uh, uh, you know, do other actions to our body in order to make sure all the urine comes out of us? Well, the short answer to that is, is that we don't find anything from the Qur'an or the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah to substantiate doing those other actions as some people say istabara or something like this in order to make sure that you have no urine uh, on your clothing and so forth so you have to uh, do these extra actions but in fact All of that extra activity that's, that people are calling to is actually waswas from the shaitan. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ Fear is Allah as much as you're able to. That's the general principle. Fear Allah as much as you are able to do. So even according to the madhab of, of Imam Ahmed, rahimahullah ta'ala, this is the only thing that I'm aware of, is that according to the madhab of Imam Ahmed, that a person, uh, when making istinja, that they should, for the man, should take ikramakum Allah, the head of his... Uh, his penis Akramakum Allah and he should try to uh, you know remove any extra urine that is on in the in the tip of his his penis Akramakum Allah by you know shaking or or, or uh, trying to use the thumb in Akramakum Allah trying to get the urine out three times but as Alham, studying with the mashayikh they say that there's no evidence from that there's no evidence for that even but that's according to the madhab but there's no evidence for that from the quran or the sunnah of the prophet وسلم, to support doing that so what we do know is that we should fear allah as much as we can and use the water to make istinja and if you're able to make istinja or istijmar meaning to use water and tissue or rocks or whatever to clean yourself then this is the most complete form of tahara right there doing that an odd number of time whatever it takes to remove then if you believe that you've you finish put your clothing back on akramakum Allah and make your wudu. But if you are sure after that that something comes out, then you go back and you clean that and you make a new wudu. But as far as you having doubt, but what if, and thinking, oh, it, it, it might have the shaitan whispered. No, Allah did not legislate and make his deen hard and difficult upon us. If you are sure, yes. But... If you are doubtful, a shak la yazul, la yazul yaqeen bi shak, that you cannot remove that which you are sure of with doubtfulness. So if you are sure that you had cleaned yourself from the urine, you would remove the urine, nothing came out. After that, you used water, you made a stinja, or you used toilet paper, or you used stones, or you used leaves, whatever you could that was pure to, to finish removing the urine, the najasa, or the uh, defecation, akramakum Allah, then you are sure that you, you got it to the best of your ability, 
and then you put your clothes on and then you doubt, you're not really sure, you doubt that something came out, then this is probably waswas from the shaitan. And it's not for you to keep investigating 10 times or several times to keep going, taking your clothes off, trying to make istinja again or what have you. But if you are sure and you're, you're very, or you have a strong indication that it is urine, more urine came out or something came out, then yes, then remove, clean that. And so Islam is not built on doubtfulness and Islam is not made difficult. The Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّمَا بُعِثْتُ مُؤَسِّرِينَ وَلَمْ تُبْعِثُ مُؤَسِّرِينَ or Muasirin or Kama Qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said I was sent with that to be easy on the people and not sent to make things difficult upon the people so we learn from all of those principles Attaqullah Mastata'atum fearing Allah as, as much as you're able to and so forth that Islam is not difficult for us and that we should not be in indecisiveness and that if you have cleaned yourself then you're clean unless it becomes certain that something came out and you have broken your wudu again or you have uh, you need to make a stinja again and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad